<laughs> Good job, Bridget. You're immense. I can't help it. Oh, are you right? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, are you? To see Rene back again in this role, it's rather magical. It's rather like coming back to an old friend. Back in the day, we met and considered a lot of possible Bridgets, and it wasn't until we met Rene that Bridget all of a sudden snapped into life. The minute she puts the coat back on of being Bridget, which is the look and the, the accent and the mannerisms, it's just impossible to envisage anyone else who could play this character. It's strange to watch her go into the makeup truck as Renee and come out as Bridget. It gave me quite a shock at the first, on the first film, The Rat Party, where suddenly there was this slim Texan appeared. She talks like Bridget, you know, while she's on the set all the time. She keeps, she sounds English and it's very, very confusing at times to talk to Renee about anything from her own life because she grew up in Texas. And when she starts talking about life in Texas with an accent as if she comes from Surrey, it's very hard to process. I'd ask you to join me, but I'm pretty sure you're not a big Gangnam style kind of guy. I was only there very briefly. Where? Gangnam. The reasons why I was so excited to go back and revisit this experience was the reunion with everyone. I miss them when I read the script, and I miss them when I see their work. Uh, and I just, I couldn't wait to get back and, and spend a little time and catch up and see how everybody's doing, and it's a wonderful time. It's a great privilege to work with Renee. And I know that sounds really creepy. And it is a tiny bit creepy. Hi, Renee. <laughs> She's a, just a delightful person and bright and brilliant and better at being Bridget than uh, I can imagine anyone being because she's got the capacity to act that slightly scatty thing, which she isn't at all, actually, in herself. But most of these th things that she does are based on somebody we know's life. So it might be Helen's or mine or Renee's. All of that discussion about how you screw up in public, that's something that we talk about a lot and we try and make it as authentic as we can. I've been dazzled. Sometimes I'm itching to tell her that what I just saw was, I thought was genius. I thought it was masterful. It blows my mind. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this has been worth coming back just to see her do all that. Renee is Bridget Jones. She plays it in a very sympathetic way because I think that kindness oozes out of her. She's definitely the right person for it and it couldn't have happened without her this time. I know she inspired the character of Shazer, but I always felt like she shares Bridget Jones, the character's sensibilities. I think she is Bridget Jones in many ways. And when she's laughing at the monitor, at whatever it is that I'm doing out there, that's when Bridget Jones comes to life. She's wild and mad and crazy and understanding, and she did the first one, so she really understands the journey that Bridget has been on. With all the prevaricating about whether we are going to do this third film or not, one thing that sealed the deal for me was when Eric Fellner said, well, I'm going to say your name to you and tell me what you think. And, and when I realized it was Sharon, I just thought, I'm in. And I'm a woman from the industrial Midlands who wouldn't have that much in common. But we do have this character in common and we both feel an incredible integrity to trying to get it right. And so we talk about how to both make her sympathetic and how to service the humour. And she talks about an American perspective and I talk about a British perspective. And somehow we bring it all together. She's fun. She's funny. She works really, really hard. And she wants this to be so good and you can feel that. You sense it when she comes to work. We have a shorthand that I enjoy very much. She'll say, well, what do you think this needs? And I'll go, so it needs, and she'll go, oh, no, exactly what you mean, without necessarily having to talk, which is really good, because you spend a lot of time talking, directing film. She's a good friend, and we share the same sense of humor, so it's just, a, it's a joy. I mean, what a, what a blessing. Come.